besties so this is the reading i got for you guys for the last two weeks of september so i got the wheel of fortune in reverse as a energy i also got the cherry in reverse the page of wands the six of wands the three of cups in reverse and three of wands in reverse okay um <laughs> so your past it's coming back now for you it could be like they're haunting you <laughs> or for this few, the few Pisces who do want the past to come back, I do see the past coming back. Okay. Um, so we got repeating number of three. Okay. So probably three people is coming back to you. So three, it could be friends, it could be family members, it could be past lovers. But I do see three past people coming back to you. Um, and I feel like the main reason why they're coming back to you is because they have unresolved issues with you. There's unfinished business with you. Um, and I feel like the last two weeks is going to trying to see how can you come to a resolution with them, okay? Um, now, Saturn is direct. It was direct yesterday. Um, so, again, even though Saturn retrograde represent, like, um, handling past karmic depths, um, I feel like if there is karmic depths that's still owed, which, which you would say in quotation marks, um, you're going to start seeing it now, okay? Um, now the signs that you might be dealing with, you might be dealing with a fixed sign. So a Taurus, a Leo, Aquarius, um, a Scorpio. Also, I'm getting another water sign, Cancer. Okay. And yeah, because <laughs> I'm getting fire and water. So it could be another Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or Leo. That's the main signs that I'm getting or another fixed sign. Um, but what I'm seeing is that you are going to try to dodge them, okay? A lot of you guys are not going to even try to talk to them. Some of you guys are going to talk to them and you're going to speak your truth. You are going to say like, you know what? I don't really want to be with you. And I feel like probably that's the closure that they need from you. Because probably you just ghosted on them or just stopped communicating with them. So they always have this like... um scenarios that probably you know you guys can work it out but probably they need to hear it straight from your mouth where you don't want nothing to do with them okay um because the last position i got three wands in the first which represent no longer waiting so probably they would get the hint that you don't want to be with them anymore okay um now for the romance angels like i give your relationship a chance getting to know each other and attraction so yeah so you guys have someone else that you are in the connection with and i didn't mention that for the past couple pisces reading that you have someone that you're really attracted to and they're attracted to you as well okay so some of you guys are already in that connection so when these three people try to come back into your life you're like why are you here you know what i'm saying so um some of you guys are going to communicate that you're happy, you're happy in your connection that you're in right now. Now, when I clarify, give your relationship a chance, I got the King of Wands in the verse. When I clarify, give your, um, um, getting to know each other, I got the Ten of Cups in the verse. And when I clarify, attraction and Six of Pentacles in the verse. So, especially if this is your person that you have a child with, like this is your baby father or baby mother, um yeah i'm seeing they really gonna try to come back and try to say yes be a family again yes you know yes yes make it work but a lot of you guys don't trust them anymore because this is someone who was attracted to you and someone else and you feel like they have no loyalty with you um now for the oracle spread i got true worth inner will spring and following your truth okay so I feel like with the true worth and inner wellspring, you realize this person didn't really bring that much positivity in your life, didn't bring as much love in your life, even though you was giving them love. And with following your truth is like you're listening to your spirit, you listen to your intuition. Now, Pisces is like the most intuitive sign. And Pisces, you guys are not only emotional, like how a cancer is. Um, you guys actually have logic, if that makes sense. Cancers have logic too, but like you guys follow through with your logic. And with following your truth, I feel like this is you tapping into your logic and tapping into your intuition. Like you making sure that you're doing the right thing for you and it's actually um, coinciding with your truth. It's coinciding with your um, feelings, okay? Now, when I clarify the chariot in reverse, 
I got the Four of Swords in the verse and the Emperor in the verse, okay? So yeah, I feel like if you were dealing with a father, um, your baby father, okay? Or baby mother, who could be a Cancer, um, this person definitely is trying to return to you, um, but you see them as someone who hasn't changed, okay? This person could be an Aries or a Taurus as well, or a Libra. Um, but you see this person haven't changed, and you're going to talk to them saying that you're in a better connection, okay? Now, when I clarify the page of wands, I have the ace of cups in the verse and the two wands in verse. So, yeah, you are going to let it be known um, that you don't want to deal with them anymore. I'm seeing really blunt. Like, you've fallen out of love with them. You don't love them anymore. You don't see a future with them. You're going to say it out your, whole, your, your own mouth, okay? Now, when I clarify the six of wands, I got the king of cups in the verse, the five of cups, the six of cups, and eight of swords but when you're saying this they're really going to get affected emotionally you're probably going to see them cry when you're saying this it's going to really hurt them okay it really is but it's probably this is the pain that they may experience so they can grow so they can evolve um but at the same time <sighs> i feel like this person's gonna grow at a very slow pace okay because i got the eight of swords which represents stagnation um this person's still gonna be stuck on you okay they're gonna be stuck on the good memories that you guys have particularly if you're dealing with the cancer this person's stuck on you like white is to rice okay um yeah because this is all water and then air and fire you know um i feel like they're still gonna try to be persistent with you at the same time um but you're saying it's out your own mouth that you don't want to be with them but they're gonna be really sad and still gonna have hope okay now when i clarify the will for i mean it's a will fortune <laughs> when i clarify three cups in reverse i have the nine pentacles in reverse um the the um queen of pentacles upright four of pentacles the page of pentacles so yeah i feel like this person's still going to be persistent still trying to say sorry still trying to like trying to give you a gift or something like that they're still trying to hold on to you okay but i feel like a lot of you guys really made that executive decision of not reconnecting with them not rehashing things okay because you know it doesn't go nowhere with the nine pentacles in the verse okay you know that it's going to be one-sided you know when you're with them they they mistreat you and then when you're not with them they want to pretend like they want to be somebody different they want to treat you better now, when I clarify right through wands in reverse, I got the five of swords and the and the four in reverse. Okay, so with the five of swords and the four in reverse, I feel like they still, like I was mentioning, they're gonna grow at a very slow pace. Okay, when you actually see them grow, it might be ten years from now, twenty years, or very slow. Okay, because with the five of swords, I feel like they're still gonna be manipulative. And you got to be careful because if you do have a child with this person, I feel like this person is going to try to meddle in with your romantic life and say, oh, no, I don't want this person to be around my child. Or, oh, you should not be dating anybody. You got to take care of your kids. Like, this person is going to try to make you seem like you're a bad parent. Okay? Um, that's what I'm getting. And you got to be careful with this person because this person is very vindictive. Okay, because they see that you're happy without them. And it's like their ego is eating at them because they can't they couldn't see that before. They they couldn't imagine you being happy without them. Does that make sense? Now when I clarify the Will Fortune in the verse, I had the King of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you have been connecting with someone who is different from your past, but the perfect person for you. Okay, because I got your energy, the Queen of Cups, and then I got the King of Pentacles. So the person that you're connecting with, this is someone who's stable. This is someone who actually could be a good father. I feel like they do have their own kids. So probably you guys are going to blend your family together. But this is someone who actually stands for something. Okay? And because of them standing for something, they won't fall for anything. It's that famous Malcolm X quote. And what I mean from that in a romantic sense is that because they stand for you, because they believe in this connection, they're not going to fall tempted with other women or with other men okay um and with the justice again i feel like this is good karma for you now again we are in saturn 
direct. So whatever energy that he was putting out before is going to come back. And a lot of you guys have been putting good karma, so you're getting good karma being manifested through a good person, a person who's going to be there for you. Okay, so yeah, that's the reading that I got for you, um, Pisces. And again, thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If you want to book a personal reading for me, you can at queenspeditarot at gmail.com.